I just have to stand in the middle of the road. Why are you here? Because my life has been a living hell since I last saw you. Oh, bitch. Why did you come back here? You try living on your own without any money. I don't know why you and Dylan let me do it. Let you? This is the one place that you can't be here. Dead here. I don't want to be dead anymore, Norman. <laughs> she said, let me do it, bitch. Didn't nobody force you. That's what you wanted to do. They ain't your keepers. Oh, she went to see him. Mr. Paris? How's the pool coming? It's a pit. I will give you this last drive. I just wanted you to know that. Mm. Romero's been talking to you? No, but when Dr. Finnegan told you it was a lie, mm. my son had nothing to do with his father's death. I had a private investigator do some research. Interesting case. It was an accident. Norman has a bit of a history though, doesn't he? Mm. Officer Shelby. That wasn't him. My mistake, that was Alex Romero. Convenient. I will give you the flash drive. I will do whatever you want. You have to give me the assurance that you won't bring Norman into this. Mm. You don't get to call the shots anymore, Norman. Mm. Bringing me the flash drive would be in your best interest, though. Romero may beat you to it. You had him wound pretty tight around your finger, didn't you? Mm. Guy opened his eyes. You think I'm the bad guy, but... I think you may be much worse than me. Mm-hmm. Well, don't slip and fall into your pool. You might never get out. Oh, bitch. <laughs> he said, fuck you. Get the hell out of here. I ain't playing these games. Nice plan you put together. Wait, what do you mean? We're lucky we got away with our lives. Tell me what happened. You know what happened. You set us up. Okay, you're an informant. Oh. Playing both sides. Well, you know what? They're on to you. Oh. Their plan was to kill my son to send you a message. Mm. They killed Dylan. You know what? You'd be dead if they did. Mm-hmm. Wait till she finds out. Oh boy. 
Sheriff Romero mad at you. Why haven't you answered any of my calls? <laughs> because I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> you want to act like a third grade girl right now? Fine. You know what? I can't control the universe. I just need the stupid flash drive back. Come here. Mm. Tell the world, Norma. Uh, all I can tell you is just try living in my shoes for a week and then get back to me. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't care about that. It's not my job to make you like me. It's my job to get it back. I just want out of this. Mm. I'm taking care of it. Mm. What the hell does that mean? How are you taking care of it? You don't just get to take care of it and not tell me what that means. I'm the one who gave it to you. Mm. Be careful where you get faced in. <gasps> we're, we're done talking about anything. He's back to being a dick. Tell your mother you're alive. How exactly are you gonna do that? Maybe you could do it. Why does he have to do it? Take you care of your own shit. Yourself. You don't have to tell your part in it all. Oh, it's this bitch. My part. I can totally keep you out of it. You come off as innocent. <laughs> I think you could easily do it. Okay. Go clean up your own fucking mess. Sitting there eating that damn fruit. <gasps> His face! You killed him. No, I didn't kill him. It's like 50 grand. Oh! I almost killed him. I wanted to. His face! And the bad news is he's gonna come looking for me and the police will, so I gotta get out of here. Okay, you should clear out and stay at your mom's for a while. At least till we see how things shake down. We earned the money. He screwed us over. Okay, I had to get it. Jeez. Alright. Okay, nobody's gonna find me up there. Oh god, Caleb's gonna it's die. Gonna be a while before Chick something about, but whenever he shows up, you just, you know, you don't know where I am. Yeah, but you are gonna be there, right? I mean, you're not just gonna take off. No, of course I am. Oh, Caleb. Damn, he got more than he needed. 50. Something's gonna happen to him. I feel it. Mother? <gasps> she's getting rid of his stuff. Oh, she's done with it. No more taxidermy, Norman. What the hell do you think you're doing? What the hell? We are getting rid of all of this. Oh no, we're not. This is my work, okay? It's important. One might reopen the case about Sam's death, and if we get investigated, then having a hobby that involves cutting up dead things is going to look pretty weird. We're just going to trash all these because you're afraid of how I look? No, you don't get it. I think I do get it. But you know who really doesn't look so good in all of this? Mm, you. You, mother. That's right. I will always love you. You are the first thing that I think about when I wake up in the morning, and you are the last thing that I think about at night. And I have always taken your word for it. And I'm not the one rummaging around in the basement. I'm not the one sleeping with their therapist. Mm. It makes me wonder. How do I know it wasn't you who killed my father? It was you. <laughs> you just, you're, you are mad at me right now, and you are trying to hurt me. Uh, and I don't, I don't care. So just stay in your room. I don't want you leaving this house until I know that we are safe. Of course, mother. <laughs> he said, "How do I know you didn't kill my father?" Oh my God. What? See what? I want to see my room. Uh -uh. She take everything out. Oh, she took everything out. Damn. Oh. I really am dead. I mean, you did say that you did fake your death. What you want her to do? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Poor Bradley.
I've been appointed the lead investigator on this case. We're analyzing the data on the flash drive. Yeah. And? One of the names on the accounting ledger was your deceased mother. Mm hmm. My, uh, my father, he was the one who started the pot ring in the 80s. As his uh, criminal enterprise grew, he acquired a number of investors. Those are the people on the, uh, the accounting ledger. He added my mother's name as, as a cover for when he was sent to prison so he could keep accumulating his share of the money. After your father was convicted, you were elected sheriff of White Pine Bay? That's right. Okay. <laughs> and you'd think the citizens of this town would want to distance themselves from the relation of a convicted felon. Mm. My uh, father and I are not the same person, and everybody in this town knows that. And, and we're not close. I mean, I just <laughs> implicated him in the commission of a new crime. Yeah, I get that you don't like your dad. Mm. So given the history of this town, I find it difficult that you can claim to know nothing about the illicit activities that have been going on here. Mm -hmm. Is there a question there? <laughs> I'm just talking. You've been extremely cooperative, and I appreciate that. Can you sit? We have a lot to do in the next 24 hours. Oh boy, Sheriff Merle's like, I'm gonna have to kill this bitch. <laughs> Oh, bitch. About to give him that shmoney. Evening, Dylan. I can't see you. Mm -hmm. I want to give you this. <sighs> he's going to be... He probably won't want it because he's going to be scared of what it means. Where it came from. There's 50000 there. It's enough. Mm-hmm. Right. And I'll pay you back every cent. It doesn't matter. I don't care about that. I just, just promise me one thing. You won't tell Emma that came from me. Oh. He doesn't want her to know. He looks like he wants to cry. He can't believe it. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Dylan. Look shocked. Oh, Emma, get this girl healthy. She's sleeping. Emma, I just wanted to come and say hi. You were sleeping. <laughs> no, I, please, I'm, I'm thrilled to not be resting. I bet I look good. <laughs> What's wrong? Did something happen? Caleb had to leave the farm for a little while. I got used to him being there. Hmm. Of course you did. He's your father. Mama told me. Don't be mad. He, he was worried for you. Sorry that you know that. Why? It took me a long time to get my head wrapped around it. And I can't imagine what someone like you must think. Oh, no. She doesn't think like that, Dylan. Coming to the world the way we come into the world is not our choice, but... Right. And at least we're here. Mm-hmm. Oh. Thanks, Emma. Kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her! Do it. I gotta go. <laughs> Neither one wants to make a move. So steer clear, pretty girl. She really went to Romero's house? Is Norma crazy? He's gonna kill her. Maybe they'll make up and kiss. <laughs> Norma! Asshole killed two women. He doesn't deserve to be dragged into this. You put your damn gun down like you're gonna shoot me. That'll be the day. <laughs> well, I hate you too, so what? He said, I hate you. He said, I hate you. Where is it? Where's the stupid piece of computer here that's ruining my life? I turned it over to the DEA. Mm. You did what? Yeah, 
you know, all those people involved, they're all criminals and they're going to go to prison. Mm. And they can go to hell for all I care because I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of, of trying to accommodate them. I'm done. Mm. I'm done with them and I'm, I'm done with this town. I'm done with everything. How could you do that to me? <laughs> That's all she thinks about. I'm screwed. I'm, I'm not like to totally screwed. How could you do that to me? Oh! What'd you lie to me? I didn't oh, lie Come on, you know your husband. I didn't. He didn't die in an accident. You know it and I know it. Mm -hmm. So tell me the truth. I did. I killed him. But oh, come on. No, I'm not. He was abusive and I killed oh, him. damn it. The truth. He was hitting me and I hit him in the head with a blunder. It wasn't and you. I didn't mean to kill him, but I did. Stop lying to me. Oh. He's Norman. <laughs> Oh, 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 you, you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, Norma, <laughs> kiss, kiss, oh, they're gonna kiss, kiss her, kiss her, Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Don't touch me. They were so close to kissing. Oh, Sheriff Romero, are you in love with Norma? Oh, Lord, that was intense. And screaming and yelling and slapping and touching and almost kissing. Uh oh. Was oh, she closing it up? <laughs> You know how long that's gonna take you, Norma? She's gonna fall in. Norma! Who's that? Oh, geez. She don't need this right now, Caleb. She don't need this right now. Don't ask. I won't either. I just wanna leave this for Dylan. Um. I'm leaving. I'm worried about staying here. Shouldn't you say goodbye to him? I need, I need to tell you something. Oh uh, no. Something about Norman. Norman? How he tried to kill you? No, when I was here last time. <laughs> you know, mhm. Mm I was staying at a motel near here, and he found me. You know, I started talking about how angry he was, how I raped him. He thought he was you. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with him. Yes, there is. Mm-hmm. Okay, I know you don't like looking at the truth. But Norman is gonna hurt someone. I just hope this isn't you. <laughs> it is gonna be her. Goodbye, Norman Louise. Take him to the psych ward, bitch. She never takes him to the psych ward, and he's gonna kill her. Ultimately, he's gonna kill her. I wonder what season he kills her in. <laughs> Why can't you leave? Mother. Is it because there's something wrong with you? Mm-hmm. Remember when he came to my door that night? And I told you I didn't feel that way. Mm. I was an idiot. Oh, Lord. Don't do it. Girl, don't do this to him. No, kiss him and then leave. Kill her, Norman. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Don't do it, Norman. She's no good for you, Norman. Oh shit. That'll fuck him up. Destruction! Oh, Killed it. Poor Norman, he's so cray cray. Fuck! Don't go. 
Poor Norman. I'm ah. so shocked with that. I saw what you were about to do in there. I'm confused. Norman, don't screw with me. What are you going to do about that girl in there? Oh, bitch. No, it's not like that. It's not like that, Mother. Oh, Jesus. That bitch Bradley Martin has always been a pain in my ass. <laughs> She's dead. You don't need anything more. He's gonna kill her. He's gonna kill her. Yes. Yes, Mother, you're, you're right. I'm so sorry. Your heart is too big. Come on, let's go to the house. <laughs> oh, jeez. He's alone. He thinks he's with her. All right, you guys, so that was my reaction to Bates Motel Season 3, Episode 9, Crazy. And that, in fact, it was crazy. Norman is crazy. Norman's crazy. Norma is crazy. Sheriff Romero's crazy. Everybody's crazy in that town. Got all kinds of shenanigans going on. So basically the episode starts off with Norman being with Pretty Girl, a.k.a. Bradley. She's come back because she apparently wasn't having a very good time being out there on her own. And Norman is like, why are you here? Like, everybody thinks you're dead. And she says she wants to come home. Norma goes to see that parish guy. He basically tells her, you ain't running shit, bitch. <laughs> you ain't running shit. Yeah, give me the flash drive back. That's a good idea. But I know some stuff about you now and your son. So just be aware of that. And Norma looks like she's just pissed because she's she doesn't have the upper hand. She blabbed to the therapist. The therapist blabbed to the parish guy. So now it's out. It's out. So I'm curious at how that's going to play out. I have a feeling that dude, that parish dude is going to die. I don't know if it's going to be Romero who kills him or what but he's gonna die I bet you in the finale um, also in this episode Caleb went to go and confront um, that dude I can't think of his name in the in the show but I know him from The Walking Dead he plays Beta Caleb goes to see him basically tells him hey that job you had us do was bullshit they held us up they tried to kill Dylan they took the guns they didn't give us no money you're gonna pay us the 25k because we did the fucking job and of course they fight Caleb fucks him up and he takes 50 G's from him. Ooh, so that scares me because that means that that tells me Caleb left at the end of this episode. He said he has to get out of town. So if he in fact does leave, I feel like that dude is going to come for Dylan for the money. And Dylan turned around and gave it to Emma's dad for her lung transplant, which is so freaking sweet. He doesn't want her to know, though, that it's from him. The dad, Emma's dad just looks stunned, like, holy shit. Uh, Norman decides to have Bradley stay at the hotel just for a while because, um, you know, she doesn't have any place to go, so he has her stay in the hotel, um, hiding out. Nobody knows except for him. At uh, one point in this episode, Norman goes home, and he sees that his mother is getting rid of all of his taxidermy stuff. She's throwing everything out. She's like, hey, it's out now, you know. What happened with your father and if the police come and they investigate and they come downstairs and they see all this shit they gonna think he cray cray <laughs> he cray cray he did it he did bradley goes home just to see how things are since her passing and she's upset because everything's changed the mom has a new man she replaced everything in the house even her own room bradley's room isn't even the same anymore so it's like an exercise room now <laughs> Bradley poor Bradley oh god this woman I don't know her name I forget but I think she's from the DEA she goes to Sheriff Romero's office talks to him she looks like she isn't feeling how Sheriff Romero's squeaky clean with all the bullshit that goes on in that town so <laughs> Sheriff Romero looked at her like don't make me kill you bitch <laughs> Jesus oh god the most intense part of the show for me was when Sheriff Romero <clears throat> and Norma were like so close to kissing. I was like, ooh la la. I could tell they like each other. They're feeling each other. <laughs> she smacked him a bunch of times. Oh my God. Bradley and Norman have a moment. Start making out, start kissing. You can tell that they're about to do the nasty, but Norman can't stop seeing his mother. <laughs> She's on the chair like Norman. 
So Norman freaks out, runs out of the room, leaves Bradley there. The episode ends with Norman seeing his mother, you know, by the office of the hotel, just saying, you know, I know what you want to do with that girl, but you can't. You can do something else, though. <laughs> shit Norman's gonna end up killing Bradley <laughs> crazy so yeah good episode I enjoyed um, got one more episode and then I'm done with season three I'm anxious to see when Norman is gonna kill Norma I'm just anxious to see that if I know he's gonna kill her ultimately he's gonna kill mom Dukes the last episode is called unconscious oh god great well, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Share my video. Sharing is caring. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Bates Motel Season 3, Episode 9. Crazy. I enjoyed. Bye, guys.